talk us through the recruitment process of getting Braun here? In, in any truth, that Riles dumped a bag full of rings on the table? Hey, man. Or? I mean, everybody knows his story, man. You know, listen, Pat Riley, is, he's a master architect, basketball architect. Um, you know, they, he's got the nicknames of the Godfather, the Don, you know, when it comes to basketball. Uh, him understanding the game, understanding what it takes to win. I think at some point, players reach a point where they're tired of, you know, banging their head against that wall, trying to figure out a way to win. And then they make a decision that, okay, I need to go where they have the formula, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I think coaches sell, I think it was an easy sell, you know? I mean, he, at that particular time, you know, LeBron had, was in, at a point where he had been trying to win for years and it wasn't working out. You know, so he decided to team up with D Wade and and C B and and the key to all of that was C B. Sacrifice? taking the back seat mm -hmm. and sacrificing. Yeah, exactly. And him taking the him sacrificing, he still made the all-star team every year. Yeah. But he still took he took a little bit off of okay. I'm, I'm, I won't be getting the ball. I'm the third option. Yeah, yeah. You know, when obviously he goes to another team, you know, he's the main focus, mm -hmm. you know. The key to it all was CB. He did all the little things for us. At that. So you need that one guy to do that. Right. You need the guy, and then you need that one guy to take, okay, yeah, you know, I'm going to do all the little things to help us win. And CB was that. Block shots, rebound, the rebound, to kick it to Ray to win it, to 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 you know, to salvage that championship opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You know because if 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 CB doesn't get that rebound and hit Ray on the numbers and he hit that three, then San Antonio wins that championship. Yeah, Pop, so, Pop yeah. don't cut me, he don't get that rebound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes this dude. Here goes this dude. Yeah, there yeah. it is right there. Yeah. Don't no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. Hey, do we come down there if I'm out there? Where's that shot ranking in your history? Okay, man, it's in the top 10. Easy. Come on, man. That's in huge. the top 10. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. One more hey, question. Hey, hold up. I'm going to tell no. you what that shot. I'm going to tell you about that shot. When Ray. Look how you looking like. When, when Ray came to Miami. You see Zell back there in the background? Mm -hmm. when, when Ray came to Miami, he, uh, this was hilarious. He was doing this drill. When he first came to Miami, he was doing this drill where he would lay on the floor. He had somebody passing him the ball. In midair, he would get up. Get up off the floor, catch the ball, and shoot. All right? That was his drill. We all looked at him like, what the hell are you doing? He'd lay on the floor, ball in midair, you get up, catch, shoot, okay? And then he had a drill where you would backpedal, ball in midair, shoot, catch and shoot. That was the drill. Wow. He had to backpedal, and you know that space in between. Yeah. He, knew exactly where he, was, he knew exactly where he was, too. He knew exactly where he was. You had to train yourself enough to be exact, not step out of bounds, mm -hmm. not have to look down and see if mm -hmm. your feet were behind the line. You know exactly he did that a million times. For that one and shot. For that one shot. Crazy. For that one shot. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah.